a student organization that um, wants to promote sustainable agricultural practices in the Gustavus community and then further out into the St. Peter community as well. We are both uh, <laughs> interns at the farm. This is my second year interning. This is Renee's first. Um, and basically we plant all the crops and take care of them um, and then harvest them and take them to the cafeteria. The history of Big Hill Farm it all began when two um, senior environmental studies majors, the year of 2009, had this idea to create the farm. Mm -hmm. So it's Eliza Swedenborg and Catherine Wickman. We harvest regularly and take um, the vegetables into the calf and we put them in the cooler and then we talk to one of the managers about how much he wants and um, how many pounds of each thing and it's pretty easy actually. Yep. <laughs> And then we uh, use any funds that we'll have at the end of the year to buy tools or seeds or... Yeah, it'll go back into a farm. Yep. Well, we hope to keep growing uh, every year. Um, we've kind of had two first years just because we had to change locations. Um, but now that we have a set permanent spot, we're really excited to see the farm expand and mm -hmm. promote just be providing more and more produce to the cafeteria. Maybe start planting more things like fruit trees or have honeybees and make our own honey or there's a lot of ideas. The most bountiful crop? Um, I would say it's a tie between summer squash. <laughs> yeah, either summer squash or uh, green beans I yeah. would say. Even though the beans are done um, when they were here just like really buckets and buckets yeah, and buckets and buckets of beans. And that's a great thing about the farm is basically all you need is easy like yeah just be excited about it um, and it's easy to learn how to do things and it's rewarding it's a life skill that you keep forever we're pretty open to volunteers yeah you learn so much um, and so like I was saying these are life skills that we're gonna be able to take with us forever so just being able to grow your own food and know where your food comes from and um, the processes that go into it I think is really important because mm -hmm. today people just go to a grocery store and don't really think about what's been put in their food, how it's grown, where it came from. So yeah, It made me much more aware of what I was eating and why I was eating it. And then it turned into what I was buying and why I was buying it, so it just made me much more aware.